Excuse me. You never find any body like me. You never find any boy like me. You know, who are you? Who are you? I say any buffoon, you say fly in the bin. Any buffoon, any buffoon, any buffoon. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. You don't be an idiot. Hit the bell so that you can look for me. I've missed you guys. I've actually missed you guys so, so much. Appreciate each and every one of you for staying tuned and coming back. There's going to be a lot of things to watch here. So just make sure that you zip it. The cold, it makes me so upset. <laughs> I've been literally just being at home. Like I ordered all my food in. I said, listen, I cannot come and die. I'm not going to that frozen. So for those of you who don't know me, I go by the name of Grace Agilore. Um, I'm a Sagittarius. Um, yeah, I started doing videos a long time ago, a long time ago. Like the calling for the videos in general was just so that like I can be the voice of women, just say things and it's like everyone hears it. That's what I want to be able to do. And I feel like I do that, you know, if I say, uh, girls, can you share it? Like what's going on? This and that, that. I find that like, you know, the girls are interactive with that and that's why I'm here. I've passed through so many stages in my life. Some of the red flags that I've witnessed, some of the different things I've seen, some of the rubbish I've seen, some of the, the regrets or the, whatever the case may be, like I'm an open book. I just find that we have so much in common as girls and I feel like we don't talk about it. When someone mentions something or put something in the air, it sort of triggers you to think, hmm, that's a bit, mm. I was wondering about that. I don't wanna do these like specifically to like my, to my women out there, women empowerment. I'm gonna have a segment where that you guys can call me, call up on the line. And if you ever have any questions about what's going on, or you know, my man is doing this and you just kinda wanna know. I love answering them. I love being a detective. <laughs> I like to find out and dig. So here's the place that we heard everyone knows, you know, what's going on like, don't, don't mug us off, like, don't mug us, oh, that sounded burning, don't mug us off. Kinda wanna be that person as well who, if I see something that ain't right, I put it out to the air, and let every girl know that, you know, this actually happened to me, you know. So I'm no longer in a relationship, I'm single. Single based only, solely, because my partner cheated on me. I would have still been in that relationship if, he never cheated on me. The years I've said it a lot, like I've spoken about it a lot. I've always mentioned cheating and dating and why someone is like this and why someone is like that and how you know and how you... I had the biggest shock of my life that there's something I don't know. Like I, I'm thinking in my mind that I will be able to know these things, I'll be able to tell these things, I'll be able to feel these things. I did not know. I didn't smell it, I didn't feel it, I didn't know it, I didn't literally the worst time of my life but i got over it i really want women to change one thing about the way they do things and that's like being able to take people back or someone will abuse you or hurt you beat you and you end up staying there i just will not be with someone who will cheat on me that's not love that's is betrayal is deception is lying it's an idiot, it's a mess. Like, status is single. And I'm, yes, I'm ready to mingle. Yes, I'm ready to be out there. Yes, I'm ready to be in love. I don't judge this situation um, and think, oh, you know, there's no love for me. Men are trash. Da, da, da. Men are trash, yes. I do still believe that there's someone amazing there for me and I'm very excited to meet him. That I'm not a, I'm not a fool that will see this type of thing and go back and be like, oh yeah, you just did that to me. Like the moment women stop doing that and stop going back to people that do that to them, then maybe men will think about it and think, you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Me, I love myself or <laughs> I love myself so bad. If somebody didn't see it, that's not your business. That's not your prerogative. That's your business. That's them. They need to go. That's your loss. Do you know what I mean? Now you put me up on you put me up in the sea. You put me up on the you know the sea. The sea is open. So many delicious um, crocodile. <laughs> These are just questions from you guys on Instagram, and I'm happy to answer them since we're gonna start this off as relationship. We might as well continue the relationship talks. How do you stop obsessing over an ex? Number one key of like being able to detach yourself completely from someone is when you completely block them and i'm not talking about the light blocking no 
you don't just block them in one place like your phone and then leave them on your social media that's not i see when girls do that all the time i just i'm like this is this, this one that's talking i'm gonna leave the boy i'm gonna leave the boy and you've left him all over your social media okay then yeah right when your when your girl says that just know she's just she's so she's still going back there when you decide to leave somebody just make sure you block off when you blocking style off when you dirty blocking what the hell do you mean you block them in twitter you block them on facebook you block them and their line their number you block them everywhere that way they can never contact you, you see me yeah i'm the most dangerous one thing to me in this life if you do one thing to me in this life in this lifetime if you do one thing to me i do not know how but something in me i can never call you again i can never talk to you again it's not like to say i'm holding it or i'm holding holding you in my heart or if i'm walking out of it i'm thinking that dirty idiot what a, what a tea are you today <laughs> i'm nowhere near thinking about that at all i just detach myself like i can completely detach from someone like it's almost so scary i've heard that it's like part of my star sign sagittarius I'm just one of those people i don't know how to look at you the same i don't know how to steer you in the face and be able to say you know what this is the same person i knew before i found out this is the person that i love this is the person that's my friend this i forgive you and i forget the situation because it's not in my heart you know but i don't i don't i can love you enough not to have you in my life anymore there's no place for you in my life anymore because anything you do i'll be just suspecting you and look at the thing that you eat it and you know you did that dirty pig thing i get out of who you are and there's just some people like that and unfortunately you can't you can't change everyone's mind and yes maybe people do change but like i don't wait to see it i don't wait to see whether you're going to be changing minister whether you've changed whether you're a new person whether you're born again that's not my business okay that's not my business so to get over an ex make sure you give them a dirty block you block their you block their entire generation from everywhere even their friends their family that's the only way you can really really get over an ex is when you give them a dirty blocking you wait in the talking stage before you ask him what he wants oh that's a good question but can i be really honest with you i want to say that you should wait a long you should wait a while but i don't think anything determines how someone's gonna treat you when someone says that is it like three months is it four months is it five months is it six months is it two years is it three years like it depends on how long it takes that person to snap and become who they really are because everyone when they meet someone they're pretending they won't pretend no i mean they're all pretending that's what they do they perform and do performing <laughs> arts that's what they do they're talented if they want something they know how to romance you and hold you and hold you and be pinching the breast no, I know it's so hard to say because like there's so much lust in the world. There's so much things that you know lust is such a powerful ingredient mm -hmm, that when it holds you, sometimes you can start thinking it's love. So if you feel in your heart that you are in love and you feel like okay, I'm at a right point. It doesn't even matter whether it's early or if it's later. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter because somebody will still do what they want to do when they want to do it. It's just when that person is ready to really snap and turn off the switch and be like, oh, this is getting done. I must need to, need to black beat myself now. <laughs> it takes a while for somebody to start showing you who they really are. Because everybody is performing as the girls, they're cleaning kitchen. The girls, they're cleaning kitchen. When in their house, they don't clean. They don't, they don't cook. They don't do anything. So they come to the house. They start performing as for you. They want to show you, babe. I'm the, I, I can do the household stuff. I can do laundry. I can do folding. That's why, do you remember before I've said to you guys, I was like, never in this life will I go to anybody, any bloody body's house <laughs> to go and start cleaning one stupid kitchen, to go and start folding clothes. Moi, Amy, never. I can never do it. Not to any boyfriend. I don't know how to do such a thing. So the moment everybody stop faking and playing, everything will be all right sit down and say i don't know how to cook be honest so that later on down the line when the guy knows that you can't cook he's not going to be vexed he's going to say well i knew about it i don't go to anybody's house and be doing mom for them and the mom and they listen anybody will do anything at any given time that's what i have now learned in my life 
you cannot base it based on the I met him two for two months or I met him for five years because I heard some girls always oh, because I've known him all my life they're the worst that you love closest to you the ones that are the closest to you as in you wake up together you sleep together you go they're the worst you keep a very good eye on them if you don't want to find out the problem if you don't want to find out anything don't bother yourself if you happen to sit down gingerly you know and somebody's doing you anyhow and you're happy to sit down there and be a turkey on thanksgiving <laughs> and allow people to just treat you anyhow then fair enough that's what you choose for your life in it but you see more as for me let everybody be calling me wherever they want to call me i will not accept nonsense i don't know how to do such a thing i need all the buffoons to leave that's why i said this 2022 a job please buffoons stay in fucking 2021 i don't need to see you dear i'm changing my life I'm, I'm i'm becoming a new person anyway what's the next one um how do i ask a guy for money i just had sex for the bit <laughs> my, my eyes is... what did you say since i'm driving and small style jesus if you want to even say that you're doing something for that purpose um that's too chicken change <laughs> money and small stuff you even said for small stuff for driving or small stuff anyway i don't even judge anybody some people are doing it for free something mm -hmm. if you want to ask for something just ask for it people will start going where they need to go when people start being honest and when people start saying exactly what they want if it's um, 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 intimacy and sexual loving that you want say it if it's money that you want and you want to have a conversation like oh you know babes can have some money just ask do you want listen I feel like everybody's in different stages in their life and I don't want you to base the things I'm saying that that's what I'm saying you should do no I'm just using my life as an example because I don't care I feel like the more people talk about it maybe there will be a change in the way men treat women that's it that's maybe people will double think and say, you know, I need to be respected. Let me not be with this person and not just jump back into bed with him. Like, it's weird. Like, I don't know how girls do that. The, the complete disconnect, you know, when someone does that. It's a complete violation. You know, it's actually magic when you just say it. Like, the way that it catches them off guard as well. It's too funny when you just say, oh, but what's that about? Or why, why have you said that? Or what's that? Or... <laughs> Everything is stammering people. I just say, should I beg him to give us a ch oh, Don't beg anybody in this life. Don't beg anybody in this life. In this life, don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself. Don't cry, don't beg. I don't personally, I don't know how to beg anybody. I don't know how to beg. That's one person. <laughs> when I see all this stuff, there's even some... I think one time, I must have been on Instagram and I saw one babe that she knew down for her boyfriend. <laughs> She went to go and say sorry. I am not the one. That's why probably my ass is gonna be lonely. Now, if you want to go, go. Carry your bag and go. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm not gonna. I don't know that. Oh, baby, just give us one more chance. Let's see how it works. I. The world is so big. I, are you people stupid? The world is so full of chocolates. Different kind of assorted meats. Shaki Toki. Are you crazy? You wanna be here? You wanna be crying for more idiots? That I can't even buy you the Chinese. I need my boy again. Listen, I beg. Don't beg any stupid either. See, you, maybe they're cheating on you and you're still staying there. Let them go. Let them enjoy. You still go and enjoy that girl. Yeah, he promised me a ring. Did he promise you that ring? Did he dream it? Or did he say it? Or did he... Can you not promise and just do what's the stupid promise? Stop promising and promising if you know you can't do it. What the hell? Which one is promising you ring? <laughs> they're not going to give it to you. They're not going to buy you anything. They're not going to, they don't care. They don't use, they're just telling you what you want to hear. What they want to do is to pinch the breast. They get bored. They want to go and find something else to have fun with. They say, oh, I don't really want to, oh, I miss that person. They want to go back. They are mad. I was watching this thing the other day. Um, uh, what was that? What is it called? Um, um, Australia. Um, I've forgotten it. Oh my days, I'm actually so done. Anyway, I'm gonna put it here. The guy said he slept with 500 girls. 500. 
hundred. How do you even write that down? How do you calculate it? So you have Becky, Janet, uh, Sophie, uh, Maggie, uh, Bridget, uh, all the. Uh, are you mad? That's how gonorrhea, uh, herpes, and everything is just everywhere and everywhere. People don't even have any. Ah, Jesus. Honestly, I don't know what to say again. This world is disgusting, for real. Initiate dates but mix other plans with others in the bin immediately. In the bin immediately. I could have one thing that I could change about the mindset of women, right? I would hope that they would see the value in themselves. I would hope that they would see how great and beautiful and amazing they actually are. So that they could lift themselves out of a situation that was making them feel like shit. I would love to be able to embed that in people's brains because most of these questions are very like, can I beg my mind to come back? Are you a, are you a stupid girl? <laughs> what the hell? You don't need to beg any stupid body for anything. For like, you know, you can only have, you, only, you can only be with one person. Like you can only stay with one person. You can only hug one person. You can only kiss one person. What the hell is wrong with you? You stop that. So many other guys out there that you can do fun and enjoy yourself and then, or you can date or you can get married to. I don't know whether it's like the world makes people think that, oh yeah, cheating is okay or being a spot. Like I'm here to tell you that it's not okay. You're amazing, you're great. People should respect you enough not to do that. What do you feel like your man should contribute in a relationship? Would you say between 50 and 500 pounds? People were saying 2 million naira, 4 million naira. Some people were actually saying that, you know, they don't expect their partner to contribute whatsoever. So here's my take on it. I grew, I grew up in an environment where that men are supposed to take care of the household. You're supposed to, you know, put the house together, you know, do all the handiwork, etc., etc. And the women were to cook, to clean, to wash the dishes, to do the, you know, very old school. You know. As a guy, the first thing is I would date a girl according to my tax brackets. I will not date anybody that is too bogus for me to handle. Because there's some guys that will pack one girl that's giddy bow. She, you know, she's luxurious, you know, she loves a nice Birkin. She looks good, like she wears expensive shit. She wears expensive clothes, everything she's packaged, you know, she, everything is standing like, she, like you can't pick a bad B and you can't afford it. And you can't afford it. Whose fault is that? So then they'll not be saying that the person's gold digging you. When you're gold digging, when you're gold Listen, if you can't afford it, leave the girl. If you can't afford it, leave the girl. Okay? I feel like everybody's allowed to pick the type of balance that they want their man to be able to accommodate. Everybody's entitled to have their own opinion. Just because somebody says she's looking for a billion and you can't afford the billion, why are you attacking her? Uncle, leave them alone to say whatever they want to say. So leave them to be whoever they want to be. That's what they want to pick. But my thing is that, auntie, do you have your own money? Because that's the most paramount thing. You know, when somebody is giving you £10,000 a month, which some of you are claiming, because I didn't see any receipts. I didn't see a receipt. This, right? When you are given that type of money and it's free of charge, you lose sight of your own money and you start thinking that oh this money ah oh, this money is for life and you know relationships they come and go people that their relationship is so good that they, they, they were they're so compatible they were such amazing match and they're going to be good they'll be together forever then there's some people that their the marriage is already messed up they, they, but because they don't want to go outside and say oh i'm by myself i'm by myself oh and you know, that's the reason why i'm by myself now they want to keep up appearance a lot of people are keeping up appearances they want everybody to know that their life is, is dandy. They want everybody to know that they have husband. Your husband does not solidify anything, auntie. Okay? Husband, having husband, having somebody that's going to be there all the time is not going to solidify anything. It's not going to make you any better than somebody who's single. Just want to tell you that, by the way. Because some people think that husband, relationship, people are so stuck on, so... Mm, they're so um, strong on being in relationship, being with the man. It's not by force. Boss, trust me, you elevate the moment you fling something that is dragging your life down, the moment you take away that disease. <laughs> I'm telling you, baby, your life will start opening like a sponge chicken.
you know, women get way too carried away in relationship. Way, 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 way too carried away. I'm one of those people. But I said with my chest, I will never do such a thing again. I will never do such a thing again. Because men do not do it that way. They will only tell you what you want to hear. They only give you the small gist. They only give you the small, mm. They will give you small, and then the rest is go to hell. And it's the cold truth of certain things. It's the cold, cold ice block that people are liar in their eternal life. There was a woman that says she, 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 um, she's a lawyer and she earns more than her partner. And I feel like there's this misconception, right? That when you have your own money and you're a boss in your process, that you can't lose that money. Are you anybody's mom? I don't I need to know something. Are you their mom? Why are you looking after a man? I don't understand. Like, why are you suffering? For what? If we're gonna even say, oh yeah, let's do five and six, I will do, you will do, you will do, I will do, we will do, you will do. Okay, no problem. I need my money to be just decorative. Let it decorate the table. <laughs> I do all of this stuff. I earn a lot, so I don't care if you're there. Oh, I'm not I'm not being funny. Even Jeff Bezos is still working. That continues to spin and it's spinning around and it's going around and around and around. It's the same way that your man can be here today and not be here tomorrow. So if you are relying on that 10K, 5K, 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 and you don't even save any of it, or you don't do it, because <laughs> there's some people that people will give you money, you don't save it, you don't hide it, you don't, you know, put it away. You end up blowing everything. You end up blowing everything to the heaven. And then you don't have any money, you don't have anything going on. You are calculating somebody else's money and calling it your money. Is that not stupidness? Let, your, let my money decorate the table. Let you do the housework. I will do everything that fulfills the inside of the house. Duty as a man is to provide the house that we sit inside. For like guys, the way they are, those guys are so cunning. Guys are so, they're so, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Someone will come and bring one dark chocolate like that. Ah, the bow, slap you on the face. That's how you see somebody, it will shock you. When somebody says, I want to be with you. You're the love of my life. I want to love you. I want to get married to you. And then all of a sudden, they disappear. Whatever they wanted to collect from you, they've collected it. Now, you're a bag or, a, or like a gizzard in a bowl. <laughs> now, you're a plantain, a, a spoiled plantain that is thrown away in the garbage. Learn that you are more, you are beautiful, you are stunning, you are amazing, you are gorgeous, you are you're everything. Don't let people put in your brain that they're the only one for that. Like, even those stupid messages that they be writing, you oh, you know, you never find anybody like me. Excuse me. You never find any body like me. You never find any boy like me. You know, who are you? Who are you, Uncle? Who are you? They make you believe that oh, you know, your life is worthless. Don't let anybody, don't let any buffoon do that to you. Listen, this year, say it with me, girls. Any buffoon, any buffoon, fly in the bin. When I say any buffoon, you say fly in the bin. Any buffoon. Any buffoon, any buffoon. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just want to, I don't want anybody to leave me. Listen, let people leave who want to leave. Sometimes they are meant to go. Let, them, let the idiot go into the bin because we don't need you here. Idiots. How do you know if your partner is meant for you? Um, and this kind of goes back to the question that I've already answered. Um... I don't think that there's a way of you knowing if someone is the right person. I don't feel like there's any way of telling. I don't think there is any way of telling because I've seen both sides. I've seen people that, that are not nice, you know, they treat you like nonsense, but they give you money. You know, they just give you a take and shut up. I give you the money, you close your mouth. I don't, I don't know. Those that are so sweet, so loving, so weak, but they're hiding things inside. So you can't tell can't tell whether they're bogus or whether they're loud you just have to pray about it you have to say god i found this boy today please don't let him be a disgrace lord i found this chocolate boy please don't let him be an animal you just have to pray <laughs> that the one that you've picked is not hiding is not cunning is not is not a liar is not a thief is not you know is not a, an animal 
You just have to pray that God has has blessed you with the right one, you know. And that's it. How do I initiate a relationship with someone I like? Honestly, you just go for it. Just go for it. This is this year. Just to test yourself. Test yourself. It's just say like, okay, I'm gonna pretend it's you. Okay. So if I see a guy that I really, really like, the first thing I'm gonna do is make eye contact. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. They just stare at me and they don't wanna speak. So I'm like, hi, are you okay? I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna bite me, me, me bite him, unless you want me to bite him. You don't have to be so like strong about it. Like when I meet a guy, he knows about it. I don't have to show, I will not show you my back. Okay, when I like you, I'm gonna, you don't have to bother yourself. I've gone back to city girl life and city girls is actually very nice you know now I've, I've i've been through the whole thing i've 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 seen it i don't want it <laughs> i don't want it i prefer the city girl's life at the moment the city girl's life is working great you know meeting new people and like you know me meeting people of of of, of different standard of different levels of different you know cultures i love it i love it i love it it's been great who was the first person that you kissed? Oh my days. I, like, I was a late bloomer, so a lot of the things I did, I did when, you know, people had already done them. The guy that lived a street from me, because I'm from Fuzzy Park, and he lived like two streets from me. Like I said, people liked me in private. People never liked me, you know, with confident, confidence, because back, back then, the black girls we were not raining. So a lot of them, they like me in private. So it was late, it was night time, you know, I had seen him earlier in the day with like some of my friends and stuff. And he was like, oh, you know, just come, he messaged me like, come downstairs, da, 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 da. I was like, all right, cool, man, I come down and then, ah. I don't want to do it again. Like when you used to sit down in like the estates, that used to be like now, when I look back on it, it was actually, that was really fun to just like go down into the blocks and like, People be kissing, you people be, you know, talking about like shit you wanna do and whatever, like but it was in the middle of the like it was in the blocks. It was like that's where I'm from. I was from the hood, the hood hood. What keeps you up all night or do you go to bed at a reasonable time and go right to listen, I have to go to bed at a reasonable time because if I don't go to bed at a reasonable time, my son will wake me up at like six AM, five AM. You don't even know something he's teething right now so i don't really know his mood <laughs> you know what i mean you can you can go to bed and like everything can seem okay but you know he can be waking up an hour later and be wanting to be up for the next couple hours so you know it's he's the he's the man of this house like he what he says goes at the moment and i'm not ready to fight him about it you think it's a good idea to be checking somebody's phone i will say this is the last question of the night and i'm going to say this I believe that when you are in a full-time relationship with someone, it doesn't matter who's looking through whose phone. I went into the into a relationship not doing that because I felt that as an adult or, or as adults, we should be able to have our private life separate from, you know, each other. Like we, we're still individuals and we still have friends and we still have families and da 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 da. But going into a next relationship, I will be looking for his phone. Yeah, yes, I will. That is the end of this video. Um, I hope that you found something I said insightful. These videos are stuff I'm going to be doing very, very often. Make sure that you let me know what kind of videos you would like to see below. So looking forward for this series of conversations. We will be answering phone calls from you guys because we'll actually, you will actually be able to ring in and call us and give us like your relationship questions went through a very painful situation and now i've come come out and i just feel alive i feel ready to work i feel ready to be online i feel ready to give advice i feel ready to meet you guys but yes thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my next video Ta -ra.